Hello guys, welcome to Taste Buds by Anubhi and today I am at Fiery Chicken Nashville. Uh, they have the restaurant in Plano, uh, Texas and uh, I'm here to review it. Um, I have never had Nashville Fiery Chicken before and this is the very first time that I'm going to try this restaurant. So um, I'm here, I heard good things about it. Their chicken is fiery hot and you can see in the menu that they have different spice level like super fiery, greasy fiery, you know, uh, different kind of spice levels. Um, let's go ahead and try different types of uh, flavorful chicken here at Nashville Fiery Chicken. Mind you, it's a caveat warning that this is going to be very spicy. Okay, so this is just, just a warning to you. I don't care. Don't, I'm, don't, I'm from don't. an Asian Indian background. I think I can handle the spice. I think she's right because <laughs> we, I'm, I'm from. We are from India. And she's from South India. The most spiciest <laughs> uh, chili comes from South where India. she's from, Bundu. And, and do you know the story behind the? I think I know, but let's 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 tell it to our tell viewers. The viewers. Yeah. There was, a prince, there, was, there was a person called Prince Horton, and I think he was very popular among the ladies. But he was steady with one girl. But you know, he was he, he knew he knew how to live his life. He was very popular among the ladies, so he used to really? come home late every night. Oh. And once his, I know from that his girlfriend part. got mad at him. <laughs> Because he was late at night, and, and he was very hungry. <laughs> no, no, he went to bed. He went to bed, oh. and in the morning when she, when she, when he woke up, he woke up to a. Oh, by the way, on, chicken. Food is here. I have the quarter chicken. Super okay, quarter chicken, super fine. This will be just the burn mild mac and cheese. The slider. So this is the fiery chicken half leg and look at it, oh my god, it's, it's like a leg piece and uh, oh, see? Yeah. yeah, it has cayenne on it. <laughs> so this is mac and, what is it? Mac? That's the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Fries in a well, I didn't see mac, what do you the mean? The mac and cheese is down there, we just put the chicken on Chicken top. on the top, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. And this is the sli tender, the tender slider. Tender slider, and this one is the actual natural chicken. The most popular I can actually yeah. smell the cayenne pepper. You know, oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> so fire. Fire. Super fire. <laughs> so, so the this first is, thing I want to try is the sandwich. Yeah, let's do the sandwich so because that's the most popular one. Okay. So let's try the sandwich. Here you go. I want you to take the bite. Oh, you want me to take <laughs> the first bite? <laughs> this is a fiery hot chicken. So here you go. Okay, God help me. <laughs> it's good. Let him think. Oh. Okay. It hits you. It hits you. Dude. It's okay. Wait for it. It'll take it'll take five seconds to hit you. <coughs> oh my god. Will you? There you go. It is fiery hot. It is crunchy on the inside, juicy in the uh, sorry, crunchy on the outside, juicy. I'm forgetting my words because it's so fiery hot. Very, very juicy inside. Tender meat. But it is, it, it, my mouth is on fire. I'm, I'm okay. Oh. I like it actually. Let's, let's, let's. So the, even the fries have canned I'm gonna on. take, I'm taking the fry underneath. I'm gonna try one more. Ah. It's, it's very tasty. It is tasty though. It is very tasty. I, I like it. I'm gonna try this uh, leg quarter. It is one level less spicier than that. This is grease fire. 
it's uh, super fiery with this fire. So let me try this. Oh man! So, so we're going to finish the, this, but coming back um, to the story. in a couple of, okay, the story, back to the story. So she cooked him a nice dinner, um, but the chicken was fiery hot. Because, because she, wanted, she, was, she, was, she wanted to get revenge. <laughs> I should do that once to him. <laughs> Dude, you know, at least she cooked him a chicken. You would not cook me a meal if, if you are angry. I know, you're not cooking a meal at all. You, you, I, all no, but I you would know, get but, was his abuses and you know, she But you know, this is good. It's good. You should cook a meal and you should make it this fiery. Mm. So sh that explains how angry that, she is, how fiery uh, she is, and she wanted to show him how fiery. She was a fiery woman. And, and then that's what. But he liked it instead of not. You know, instead of instead of getting um, displeased or disdained by it, he liked it, and that inspired him to cook, to open a restaurant called as uh, you know Prince Chicken Shack, and that restaurant is still existing today. So oh by man. the way, it's I can feel the tiny pepper in it. So the recipe is more like I think they do the they actually take the bird and then. Uh, they top it off with the flour and they deep fry it and after the deep fry it they put it in a, a soup you know a spice soup they soak it in it they soak it in that soup and they leave it there for some time and then they take it out so the, the soup oh and the God. spice actually gets coated on it so oh nicely <laughs> that <laughs> That's you shape. feel that this is the most, um, most hottest uh, chicken that I've ever tasted, and uh, you know you just, you feel that for some time. But after at, at, at a later this point, this is a good milkshake. It's called would, Tara. This is a very popular. This is, this, is, this would kind of for, rinse my mouth, or flush my mouth. It has this. a whipped cream on the top, but you know it's very tasty. After some time, I feel like taking another bite. Yeah. It's not that you it's know. Like, it's not that you're losing the taste, and you don't want to eat the rest of them. But you know. Wow, now I know why Nashville's hot chicken is so popular. I wanted to go to Nashville to try, but then I came to know there is one in Dallas and I actually wanted to come for a very long time to try this. I love it, man. What do you think of it? It's amazing. It's, spicy. it's very spicy. So let's try the uh, the half chicken. Um, no, this is the quarter, leg quarter okay, the leg quarter chicken. And we took it a... Uh, one spice one down, down, one level spice down. Okay. Is, uh, what is it? Greasy okay. fire. Greasy fire. So let's take a bite of this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is not that bad. My mouth is on fire, man. No, no, my mouth is on really on, on fire. I, I I'm feel like that I am done. But I don't because I'm I'm still craving for this. I'm all sweaty, still unapologetic about how I look and how I'm eating because I really like my the food. My lips are on fire, man. Seriously, no. I mean, oh, you should try oh, this. Oh. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how is this? This, okay, is this is good. This is good. Let me try this. Yeah, it has a nice coating on the top. Man, this is something different. You guys should come try this restaurant. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's really oh. good. There's still a lot of takeouts happening. I was thinking, I was kind of proud of myself that I am a DC, an Indian, born in India. This is like everyday meal for me. Everyday meal. I can eat it day in and day out. This spice level is no, but nothing. I tell but you. No, dude, no. But I tell you, the spice is so different. <sighs> the the tiny pepper, it has a different spice to it, which is which is a different spice when compared to where we came from. Mm. So, um, which is why oh I think it's God. hitting us. Oh. This is like uh, hundred bullets shot in my face. Man, if you love spicy food, this is the place to come, guys. Come, come, come. Oh. I want you, I want to I want all of you to come sit oh. here. 
and then you eat and then I watch. <laughs> <laughs> so sadistic, right? Oh my god. So which one? Okay. I want to I, I really want to eat this and hurts. this, but I want to try this oh one. Oh my god, my mouth hurts. And they gave you a pickle also. No. Oh. An extra spice. <laughs> that's not spicy though. That's sour. But that that would bring down your Maybe. spice level. I'm not a fan of pickle or <sighs> neither am I a fan of this I mean, is a coleslaw. What is this? Eat a food. Oh, this is a kind of ranch. Yeah. I love this. This goes with the french fries. It's good. I need some ice. Okay. I'm going to get some ice. Why is bringing ice? We have something called... <coughs> oh my. I have something called. Then I challenge you guys. Yeah, ice. <laughs> okay. Coming back to this. Also, they have something called tender slider. So. It seems it's very popular. That is the natural hot chicken is popular as you all know. And the tender slider it seems it's very popular. It's like not too heavy. Um, probably a smaller um, version of the hot chicken. So they have a chicken tender inside it. Coleslaw and a sandwich. And a coleslaw and a sandwich, yeah. And this definitely also what kind of level of spice is that? Actually I don't recall. That's is fiery hot man. Did you do that? Yeah. Why didn't you just go with the one regular one? <coughs> So, no, I don't feel no. the, the food is flavorful, guys. Let me tell you that. Very flavorful. It's it's spicy, but that's what you expect from Nashville kind of fried chicken. You know, that's why you come here. That's why you go to Nashville. That that's why you eat at Princess Chicken Shack. But it's an experience. It's good. So it's not very the hot. sauce. It's not because because well, of you the have the sauce and the coleslaw inside. It's so kind of bringing that, the heat down. It's mellowing down the taste. Of melting down the fiery spiciness <laughs> that takes it in your mouth. Good. I would like to bring my friends for a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a fiery challenge with your friends. Do a fiery challenge. You need some milkshake to go with it, and you need a lot of paper napkins, guys. So, <laughs> so keep your paper napkins handy because you're going to. <laughs> your nose, your you're eyes, your ears, everything is going to water. Okay, so I want to try the. Uh, the mac and cheese. Uh, it's a mac and cheese chicken. So if you see, they put the chicken um, on the top of uh, the, the mac. Yeah. The mac and cheese. Yeah. My kids love chicken, and my kids love mac and cheese. So I think it's good for them. So if you bring your kids. I think you should order this one with uh, the lowest spice level. This, this guy, and you know the cheese kind of mellows down the. I did emotions behind your glasses. <laughs> What about emotions. me? I don't have glasses. I do emotions. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to cry on camera. <laughs> so, let's go with the rating. What do you think about uh, uh, the Nashville sandwiches? Rating is from 1 to 5. 5 is the best, 1 is the least. Go. I'll give it 5. 5? I'll give it 5. Just because, just because it's spicy, I don't... It's, it's very flavorful, very tasty. Just because it's spicy, I don't want to bring the rate down because it's supposed to be spicy. I would give it's on point, it's five. For the leg quarter, the spicy leg quarter, um, I, would, I would give it like four to four and a half. Crunchy on the outside, it's soft and white tender meat in the inside. And uh, it's pretty good. What do you think about uh, the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese is amazing. Um, if my kid is there, I would. So this is you can bring your actually you can bring your kids who yeah. are a big mac and cheese fan. Along they can get some chicken, chicken on top. Fans. They can get a slider. Slider um, is amazing yeah, actually. Slider is good. It's it's a good kids portion size. You know it's like this much Small sandwich. sandwich. They have coleslaw. They have a chicken inside yeah. there, and uh, you know it, it fills you up. But oh, again, very, very, very overall, good. a very good restaurant. I would on the food level. 
taste bud rating, I would give five, which is very good. Totally, totally. Oh. I love, I love the ambience. It, it actually gives you a flavor of the whole restaurant feeling. I think they also have Uber Eats, um, Grubhub, I, um, they have everything. Um, Nashville Chicken is in Dallas. Come over here. You don't have to drive Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> they, it is written over there, 650 miles to Nashville. To Nashville. Over there. Eight steps to the counter. So you make a choice. You want to go drive to Nashville, Nashville? or you oh. want to just come over here because Pretty obvious. Yeah, it's it's the same. It's the same food they are serving. Um, you have heard a lot about Nashville hot chicken being very popular, very famous. So come and try, and then you decide. My favorite song is played, Guns and Roses. Okay. We'll be back next week with another review of another restaurant. Please let us know through our through your comments. Uh, what do you want to see next? What do you want us to do something new? And we will always try. If but you want us to come review any of your restaurants, yeah. please send Just me a message. Know. And we, we will do that. And, but until, until next time, it's goodbye. It's a fiery it's goodbye. It's a fiery goodbye from Anu and Abhi and Taste Buds by Anabhi. See you soon. See you soon.